Good morning, YouTube. Today we're gonna cook some waffles. Now I already filmed this video, but I messed up my own recipe. They were still delicious, but I wanna show you how to do it right. So I actually ordered a different waffle maker than I had in the last video, and this one is better, and I'm so excited. So let's get cooking. First, let me show you. This is so cute, is it not? It says, it's fall, y'all, and it's plaid on the bottom. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Okay, now let's get cooking. So this is my new waffle maker. It is one of the ones that flips, so it cooks really nice and evenly. I love it. Also, you know, it's a Mickey waffle iron. It makes Mickey waffles. Now, I got it turned on. It's warming up. Now we can make the waffle mix. Okay, so normally I make this in a four cup measuring, uh, a glass measuring cup. Somehow I've misplaced that. So we're gonna be using this glass bowl from Pioneer Woman. I got it at Walmart. How beautiful is that? First thing first, cream cheese. Four ounces of cream cheese, and we're gonna soften it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Now it's nice and softened. We're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. One fourth a cup of pork panko. You can buy this on Amazon. I'll link some in the description. Or you can make your own. It's very easy. You just crush up pork rinds. And then a fourth a cup of almond flour as well. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. <laughs> I don't know why I poured it that way. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One tablespoon of Swerve Confectioner Sweetener. This is stevia, but it's in a very fine powdered form, which is great. And then we're gonna do two eggs. Then you're gonna mix it all up really, really well till it looks like this. And you're gonna let it sit for like a minute or two, and that's gonna give it this cool texture that's kind of bubbly. And that's what gives the waffles the waffle-like texture. So you can see when I turn it here, how that has kind of bubbles in it, and it's much thicker than it was. That's what you want before you pour it in there. Now you can stir it before you pour it every time. That way it's not as hard to pour, but this is the texture that you want before you put it into the waffle iron. And that is our finished product. How cute are these miniature Mickey waffles? They're so dang cute. And you can see how nice and fluffy they are. They are truly awesome waffles. And I mean, delicious and adorable at the same time. I just, I'm obsessed. And Beckett, of course, enjoyed his Mickey waffle very, very much. <laughs> he was very happy with them. He loves Mickey Mouse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more recipes just like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you, mean it. Bye.